We will never forget you, U.S. Honor 9-11 terror victims with the vent in New York City, Pentagon, and Pennsylvania. 21 years after the 9-11 terror attack killed almost 3,000 Americans, the wounded wrought by that carnage are still fresh to Bonita Mantis. Her sister Shivana Mantis, 25, was working for a financial firms in the World Trade Centers when two of her planes commanderate that morning hits the Twin Tower. Bonita Mantis, a commemorate Sunday in New York, reading from the list of victims' name, said she still had the shoes her sister was looking before leaving for work the morning she died. The day I was born, I became your sister. The day you died, you became my guardian angel, Mantis said. We love you, we miss you, and we will never forget you. The ceremony at the National September 11 Memorial Museum was one of many across the nation in remembrance of the attack that rocked the world. President Biden laid a wreath at the Pentagon, and First Lady Jill Biden spoke in Shankville, Pennsylvania. Event at all three sites where the strike occur includes a reading of names of those who died. When we stand together, Joe Biden, other leader, paid tribute on 21st anniversary of 9-11. Other communities around the country were holding candlelights, vigil, interfaith services, and other commemoration. Some Americans are joining in volunteer project on a day that is federally recognized as a patrol day and a national day of service and remembrance. President Joe Biden, speaking to a somber crowd in the rain outside the Pentagon, pledged to continue combating terrorism and call on Americans to stand up for democracy. America itself changed that day, Biden said. But what we will not change and never will is the character of this nation that the terrorists thought they could wound. Clear the sky behind the unprecedented call to stop air travel on 9-11. In Shankville, the name of the passengers and crew member were dead. With the ringing of the bells of remembrance starting at 10 a.m., the moment Flight 93 crashed, the plane went down after passengers and crew member tried to storm the cockpit. As we stand on this sacred and scared earth, a record of our collective grief and a monument to the memories that live on each day. This is a legacy we much carry forward. Hope that defies hate, Jill Biden said. Vice President Kamala Harris and husband John Emhoff attended the event in New York, but by tradition no political figure speaks at the Ground Zero ceremony. Family members of the victim once again reading the names of the fallen. Six moments of silence were observed during the ceremony to mark when each of the World Trade Center tower was struck, when they fell, when a plane slammed into the Pentagon, and when United Airlines Flight 93 crashed in Pennsylvania. Firefighter Jimmy Rich's name Sheikh nephew wasn't born when his uncle died in the tower, but younger Rich's took the podium to pay tribute. You are always in my heart, and I know you are watching over me, he said. And Thula Kastimadites, 50, a museum trustee, lost her brother John Kastimadites, 31, to the attack. She worries that despite the never forget mantra, people are losing interest. The more the time pass, the easier it is for people to forget or to put it on the black burner, she told the New York Times. The goal of the annual remembrance is to teach younger generation so they can avoid similar tragedy, she said. The attack were the works of 19 Al-Qaeda conspirators who hijacked two passengers' jet departing from Boston, one from Newark and one from outside Washington. They turned the planes into weapon, with two slamming into a toppling the Twin Towers in New York one hitting the Pentagon, and one likely headed for the U.S. Capitol, crashing into Shankville Field. The deadly morning spur a global war on terror, highlighted by two decades of combat in Afghanistan and the 2011 killing of Osama bin Laden, founder of the Islamist militants group 
A month ago, a U.S. drone strike killed Anyan Alzari, another key al-Qaeda figure who helped plot the 9-11 attack, and the self-proclaimed mastermind of the attack, Khalid Sheikh Mohammed, is in custody awaiting a long-postponed military tribunal. America's determination to keep our country safe will never waver, Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin said at the Pentagon commemoration. We will always remember, we will always stand guard over this democracy, and we will always seek to be worthy of those who we lost. That's it for today. Thank you and goodbye.